को अलाउ करेगा या फिर डिनाई कर देगा ट्रैफिक को ओके सो फायरवॉल इज व्हाट फायरवॉल इज अ बॉक्स राइट फायरवॉल इज अ सिस्टम यू कैन से एंड फायरवॉल इज अ कॉमन वर्ड इट्स अ कॉमन वर्ड फॉर एनी वेंडर राइट नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सिस्को एएसए फायरवॉल बॉक्स बट यस इन मार्केट वी हैव मल्टीपल फायरवॉल वेंडर so what is firewall firewall is a system you, you can say or group of system that manage access between networks what is between network it means lan network wan network and dmz what is dmz can anyone help me what is dmz network because lan is what lan is a private network our lan portion and wan is what public side public network what is dmz sir so basically hum log uh... एक अलग से जोन बनाते हैं डीम जी जोन एंड वहां पे हम लोग हमारे जो सर्वर है उनको होस्ट करते हैं सो दैट ट्रैफिक जो बाहर से जो आएगा वो डीएम जी की तरफ जाएगा इंस्टेड ऑफ इन साइड नेटवर्क तो अगर अटैक हो जाता है तो वो डीएम जेड जोन ही इम्पेक्टेड रहेगा एंड आपका इन साइड जो नेटवर्क रहेगा वो सेफ हो जाएगा परफेक्ट मुस्तफा क्लियर सचिन प्रवीण What is DMZ? Yes. What is DMZ network? See, if you want to allow some server from for your outside users, so what you can do, you can put all your server into a separate zone. It's it's called DMZ zone. Okay, you can you can put all your servers. Like for example, for example, here is your firewall device. This is your LAN network, LAN portion, and this side is called what public portion. So this is your LAN side. This is your WAN side. Now, if I am trying to put all my servers in my LAN network, for example, in case, if I am trying to put all my servers, like for example, web server, SMTP server, DNS server, FTP server, and some uh, company confidential servers. For example, if I have only two network, if I have only two uh, zone, you can say two network, LAN network and WAN network. Okay, so I need to allow some traffic from outside because this out, because this see for example these outside machine, they can access this web server for example, or they can access this FTP server for example. So to allow our traffic through the firewall box, what we can do, we can configure our policy. we can configure our firewall policy so as per our firewall policy what i can do i can define uh, any source is coming from outside and trying to access this web server yes they can access they can and they can hit onto this web server and they can use service or protocol in policy you can define your source ip your destination ip your service and protocol right like acl remember acl concept acl concept in router in acl you can define your source ip address your destination ip address your service and protocol information so as per your configuration as per your policy configuration traffic is coming from outside and it's it's trying to hit on to this web server because as per your configuration anyone can hit on web server on to this particular ip address so as per your configuration traffic is coming from untrusted network and trying to go on your trusted network problem is what problem is traffic is coming from outside traffic is coming from untrusted network so it may be it may be uh, uh, you know uh, compromised by some attacker or hacker because traffic is not initiated from the lan side traffic is initiated from the outside initiated from the untrusted untrusted network So if traffic is coming from outside, maybe this traffic is trying to compromise your other devices. Maybe he can try. So that's why what we can do, what we can do, we can put all these servers. For example, web server, web server, or uh, wait, we can put all these servers in a separate zone. These servers, because these servers, I want to allow. for my outside outside user so i can put all these servers in a separate zone it's called dmz zone here we have a switch and multiple servers for example web server ftp server 
SMTP server and DNS server. So this time I can I can create a policy here. If any traffic is going to hit onto this firewall WAN interface, as per your configuration, your firewall will redirect redirect this traffic onto this DMZ side. So this untrusted network traffic is not coming in your LAN side. So your LAN network is secure. So these servers I want to allow for my public public site or public user. That's why we are, we are creating a separate zone. It's called DMJ. So what we have, we have LAN zone, WAN network, and DMJ. It's called demilitarized zone. Clear? Clear now? Yes. Clear, sir. Yes. Okay, so now, so what is firewall exactly? Firewall, it's just like a router. If you guys remember router device. So on router, what we can do, we can configure routing option. We can configure NAT. We can configure ACL option. ACL is what? Access control list. So routing feature, NAT, ACL, these options we can configure on router. Same option you can configure on firewall. So firewall is what? Firewall is same. Firewall is just like a router. But in firewall, we have some advanced feature. We have some other feature you can say to filter your traffic. But firewall is just like a router. If you talk about firewall technique, firewall technique. So I'm talking about a common technique which is used by any firewall vendor. For example, first technique is called packet filtering. Packet filtering technique. This is a common topic, everyone. If you go with the Cisco ASA firewall box, this is called ACL concept. Access control list, it's called packet filtering firewall method. Clear my point? Packet filtering firewall method. Now, if you go with the follow all to, so this is called security policy. If you go with the 48 firewall box, this is called firewall policy. If you go with the FTD, it's called access policy. If you go with the checkpoint firewall box, it's called access control policy. So they all are the same. They all are what? Packet filtering technique, but in each vendor, we can do some extra configuration. But what is packet filtering? We can filter our traffic based on source IP, destination IP, service and protocol. So, so this is the common concept. Mustafa, Praveen, Rohan, Sachin. This is the common concept which is used by any vendor. Clear my point? Yes, sir. Now the next concept, next uh, feature, if you talk about in firewall, it's called stateful firewall feature stateful firewall device what is a stateful firewall device what is stateful firewall technique you can say or what is a stateful firewall inspection this this inspection is used by any vendor if you go on Palo Alto, Fortini, Checkpoint, FTD, Cisco, ASA these are what these are the stateful device router router is a stateless device firewall is a stateful device so what is stateful firewall means what is stateful firewall technique? Stateful firewall technique. So let's discuss with the with the scenario. See, for example, here I have a firewall device. Guys, we are working with Cisco ASA. Our focus is on Cisco ASA firewall. So this ASA is connected. For example, this ASA is connected with your LAN portion. In your LAN side, you have computers. For example, 192, 168, 10.10, 10.11, and on WAN side, what we have, ISP portion. Okay, so into in, we are working with Cisco ASA. Remember always Cisco ASA always works with a concept is called security level. 
तो इसको ASA always works with a concept is called security level. If you talk about Palo Alto, if you talk about for, if you talk about uh, FTD, if you talk about checkpoint bubble box, so they they all are working with a concept is called JBF zone based firewall. But Cisco ASA FTD is what? It's a Cisco firewall box, but it's using this technique. It's working with this technique is called JBF zone based firewall. If we talk about Cisco ASA, Cisco ASA works with security level concept. Okay, so what is security level? See. Remember always security level range in between 0 to 100. Okay, and on Cisco ASA, we have some predefined pre keyword. For example, for example, this is your fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. This is your fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Now, onto this interface, onto this interface, if you are using a predefined keyword, in case if you are using Predefined keyword is called inside I N S I D E. If you are using this predefined keyword is called inside, so automatically this interface will get a security level 100. It's a higher number. In case, if you go on to this interface, it's called 0 slash 1, 0 slash 1. And onto this interface, if you are using a keyword is called outside or any name, okay? This is inside is a predefined, everyone. Inside keyword is a predefined keyword, predefined. If you go on to any interface and if you type this inside, the interface will get a automatically 100. Interface will get a security level 100. Onto this interface on 0 slash 1, I'm using any other keyword like your name, my name, or outside, for example. So automatically, this interface will get a security level 0. Security level 0. And now, remember always, by default, traffic is allowed. By default, traffic is allowed from higher security level to lower security level. On Cisco ASA firewall, no need to configure any firewall policy. Mustafa, Praveen, Rohan, Sachin, no need to configure any rule, everyone. Clear my point? Yes, sir. No need to configure any policy. Yes. Okay, by default, by default, by default, traffic is allowed from higher security level to lower, lower security level. By default. No need to configure any rules. Now, why why we are why we are creating this, this topology, this scenario? Because we are trying to discuss what is a stateful firewall technique. What is stateful firewall technique? So, see. So, this inside machine, for example, this inside machine is trying to access this outside server, for example, 8.8.8.8. So, this traffic is going to hit onto this firewall device, onto this interface. So, when Cisco ASC firewall box will receive a packet, so it will verify the traffic direction so traffic is coming from higher security level and trying to go on to the trying to go on to the lower security level so i told you as per default option traffic is allowed from higher security level to lower security level no need to configure any security policy or firewall policy no traffic is allowed so now as per default as per default configuration, traffic is traveling now through the firewall box. Traffic is traveling. And now when traffic is traveling through the firewall box, then firewall will maintain the state of connection. If traffic is traveling through appliance, then firewall will maintain the state of connection in a table. And this table is called state table. This table is called state table. What it maintain in, in a state table, it will maintain source IP, source port number, destination IP, destination port number. So as per as per direction, as per our discussion, source IP address is what? Can anyone help me? 
What is source IP address? One ninety two one sixty eight ten dot ten. Yes, source IP address is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot ten. Right. Source port number. Let's take a random port number. For example, fifty two thousand. Destination IP is eight dot eight dot eight. And what is destination port number? So let's take example. He's trying to access 30. port number twenty three, for oh. example. Okay. Twenty three, for example. So traffic is traveling, and Fabul is maintaining this state of connection in a table. It's called state table, or you can say connection table. Connection table. Now traffic is traveling. Now what about reply packet? Everyone, what about reply packet? If reply packet is coming and going to hit onto this interface, because eight dot eight dot eight will give the reply. So if reply packet is going to hit onto this interface, you can see guys onto the onto this interface, we have a security level what zero, right? Zero. We have a security level zero. And I told you, traffic is only allowed from higher security level to lower security level. If traffic is trying to travel lower to higher, lower to higher, everything is denied. Praveen, everything is denied. If traffic is traveling from lower security level to higher security level, it's a deny by default. Everything is denied. So now this time, see, if, the, if this reply packet is going to hit onto this Favel box, then see, as per our discussion, if traffic is coming from lower security level and trying to go on to the higher security level, it's, it's, it's a deny. Everything is what? Deny. Deny. Now, see, so if, if traffic is going to hit onto this Favel box, Favel will check, is this traffic is part of my any existing connection? Power will verify if traffic is going to hit onto the interface. Power will verify is this traffic is a part of me, my any existing connection. So it will check the information into the connection table, into state table. And in, in state table, your firewall can verify, okay, this packet is coming from 8.8.8. .8 Perfect. I have an entry. Okay, this reply packet. Destination port number 23 and reply packet is for 192.168.10.10. Okay. This traffic was initiated from the inside network and this is just a reply packet. It's not initiated from the outside. So firewall will check. Okay, this I have this information. I have information in my connection table, in my state table. This traffic was initiated from the out from the inside. So now firewall will allow this traffic. Clear my point, Mustafa, Praveen, yes, Rohan, Sachin. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is called what? This technique is called stateful firewall technique. This technique is called stateful firewall technique. If traffic is traveling through the appliance, then firewall will maintain the state of connection in connection table and then forward to the out, then forward traffic to the outside. When reply packet will come, firewall will verify Reply packet information into the connection table in state table. If it is available, allow. It's allow, otherwise it's to deny. So this, this technique is called stateful firewall technique. I hope it's clear. Now, sir, so, uh, I want to ask one question there. Yes, that, yes. Uh, for the forward tra uh, traffic, that policy is not required. For the reverse traffic, that policy will required or not? See, for reverse traffic, no, not required. Because, see, see Sachin, if traffic is traveling through the appliance, if traffic yes. is traveling through the appliance, then Fabul will maintain the state of connection. Okay. okay. So, as per connection table, Fabul will verify, okay, this is the reply packet. This traffic is not initiated from the outside. Okay. In case, if in case, for example, into this topology, in case, if this outside machine is trying to access inside, trying to go on inside network. So you can see this traffic is initiated from the outside. Yes. Traffic yes. is initiated from the lower outside. security level and trying to go on higher security level. So everything is denied. 
So for, for traffic is not traveling. And if, if traffic is not traveling, firewall is not going to maintain any state of connection. Clear, Sajin? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. now, now let's talk about everyone. Let's talk about some product family in Cisco ASA because we guys are familiar with the Cisco router and Cisco switches. In firewall, Okay, so let's talk about ASA model, okay, or ASA devices. So the range start with the 555500. Like if you go in Cisco router, so we have 2800 series router, okay, right, 4500 series router. Same in if you go into the Cisco ASA power box, the range will start from range will start from 55 series. So 5505, if you have Cisco ASA 5505, so this. This firewall you can use in a small office or, or in a branch office. Okay, if you have any firewall box with X feature, any firewall box, for example, what I have, 5506 hyphen X. What is X means? If you have any firewall box with X, it means, it means this is a complete ASA firewall box with firepower feature. Why firepower feature with firepower? What is firepower, te firepower technology? It's a separate thing. In Cisco, this is called NGIPS. NGIPS, Next Generation Intrusion Prevention System. It's a separate box. In Cisco, this is called Cisco Firepower, you can say, or NGIPS. So my, my point is what? If you have a firewall box with X, X name, it means you have a Cisco ASA firewall box with firepower feature. So you can use ASA feature and firepower feature. Okay, in case if you if you if you are going with the higher requirement, so yes, you can go with the 5520. This series of the firewall box you can use in a medium sized network or internet edge security appliance. You can go for the higher series for large deployment, large de deployment. In case if you are working in data center. Or in a large enterprises network, so you can go with the 5585X. See, Cisco AS Cisco will provide you ASA box as a physical box, as a physical box, and as a VM firewall box, also, like other vendors. If you have only ASA, this is your physical device. If you have ASA with a small V, it means it's a complete Cisco ASA firewall. But this firewall box you can use only in a virtualization scenario. Like you can use in an AWS, Azure scenario, okay, or VMware scenario. So it's a complete firewall box, everyone. But but this this is what this firewall box you can use in a virtualization scenario. ASA means what? It's a complete physical box. Clear now my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now. Oh, sir. Okay, let's just start ASA first. Okay, wait.
Okay, everyone can hear me. So I have a small topology. I have one Cisco ASA Powell box. One Cisco ASA Powell box. And this is this is your inside router or inside PC, you can say. So I'm trying to start this Cisco ASA. Please wait, this will take time. Okay, uh, can you hear me, everyone? So yes, this is sir. Cisco ASA Powell Box console page. Okay, this is console page. Now you can type here enable command because it's a Cisco device, so you can use same command enable. So this is your ex user exec mode. You can say this is your privilege mode. So you can type enable. You can press enter. It's asking for password, but there is no password. You can press enter. Now. You can use first this command is called show version command. Why? Because I want to verify OS version. I want to verify hardware information. I want to verify license information. So yes, you can go with this command is called show version. So we are working with Cisco ASA. ASA is called Adaptive Security Appliance, ASA. We are working with 9.x operating system. And you can see hardware information. We are working with ASA 5520, RAM information, CPU information. We have four interfaces here, four interfaces. And now you let's verify license feature, license information. So onto this image, we have license for every practical, license for every practical. For example, see for failover, we have active active license. Security context, it means we can divide our single firewall box into multiple virtual firewall box. So, yes, we can we have a license for 20 virtual context. So I can divide the single firewall box into 20 virtual firewall box. So for everything, we have a proper license. No problem. You can do this practically. See for VPN, for VPN, yes, we have a test and triple test option. So we have a license in for it's enabled. Now, next command you can use, next command you can use is called show firewall. Show firewall box will give you the idea about the firewall mode. Remember guys, I told you we can use our firewall box in two modes. Either we can use our firewall box as a, as a layer 
as a layer three or as a layer two firewall. Remember, everyone, layer two, yes, layer three. So right now the mode of this firewall box is router mode, or you can say NAT mode, or you can say L3 firewall box. Now let's type a command here, show mode. Show mode. So security context mode. Security context mode. Right now, this firewall box is acting as a single box. That's why security context mode is a single. It's a single. If you click the mode, so the mode is called multiple. So right now, I'm not talking about security context because we have a separate topic to discuss about security context or about virtual firewall technique. But yes, this device security context mode is single. So right now, this box is acting as a single box. Now, show IP interface brief. We can use to verify our IP address information. If you press enter, see, we are getting a message. So here's a difference, okay? Here we can use show interface IP brief on Cisco ASA, show interface IP brief. You can press enter. And you can see these information, these interfaces are available, Ethernet 0 to Ethernet 3. Now let's go into the global configuration mode. Global configuration mode, we can change host name, for example, ASA1, ASA1. Now, now, in case if I'm trying to configure IP address, for example, onto this interface, onto this Ethernet 0 onto this Ethernet 0, onto this interface. In case if I'm trying to configure, see, as per, to, as per our topology, I'm trying to configure 200 network. So let's go into the interface, interface Ethernet 0, interface Ethernet 0. Here I can use a command, it's called nameif command, because you need to define the predefined keyword. Remember, inside keyword, or you can use any other keyword. So now this into this inter interface into this Ethernet zero, I'm using inside keyword. And inside is a predefined keyword. If you guys remember, I told you. So with name if command, you can give a name inside. If you press enter, you are getting a message. You are getting a message security level for inside set to 100 by default. So automatically the center face will get a security level 100. Now you can configure your IP address, IP address, for example, 200, 200, 200 one mask, no shut down. Now show interface IP brief. Now you can verify your IP address information onto this interface. IP address information onto this interface. See? In case if I'm trying to configure Ethernet 1, for example, Ethernet 1 is connected to WAN side. So interface Ethernet 1, name if outside. So this time I'm not using my predefined keyword. In case if I'm trying to use inside here, in case, for example, because I'm already using inside on Ethernet 0. Mustafa, Praveen, Rohan, Sachin. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. If I'm trying to use this inside keyword again on any other interface, you can see I cannot because it's assigned on interface Ethernet. Zero. So now you cannot use this inside keyword again on any other interface. So here I'm using what name if outside. So if you go with the outside keyword, automatically this interface will get a security level zero. Automatically this interface will get a security level zero. Now, IP address, for example, let's configure IP address 10.10.10.10 mask. No shut down. Exit. So, what we have, we have interface show interface IP brief. Okay, for example, if I have Another interface, another network is called DMZ network. DMZ. This is called what? DMZ. Demilitarized zone. Demilitarized zone. So let's configure our DMZ interface. 
So interface IP3. Interface Ethernet, Ethernet 2. Name if, name if DMJ I'm using. Now again, see security level is what? Mustafa, zero, Praveen, zero. So if I have a same security level on two interfaces, then see, I told you, if you guys remember, wait. Onto this interface, we have a security level 100, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. On WAN interface, or you can say on Ethernet for no. security level zero. 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 So outside. Mm -hmm. DMZ side, if if I'm using this DMZ keyword, so security level is zero. Onto this interface, for example, Ethernet 2, security level is zero. So if, if two interfaces have same security level, for example, then they cannot communicate with each other by default by default okay. because see traffic is allowed from higher security level to oh. higher security level to lower security level lower to higher everything is denied but if two interfaces if two interfaces has same security level they cannot communicate by default by default if you want you can Okay, so that's why I'm using a different security level here. For example, onto this DMZ, I'm using security level 50. So how to change security level here? See, command is, command is security level and I'm using what? 50. See, if you type question mark, you can use a range in between 0 to 100, 50. Now I put this, I can configure 60 dot 60 dot 60 dot 1 255 255 no shut down show interface ip3 now you can verify with show name if command show name if command with show name of command, you can verify your interface information on Ethernet 0. We are uh, this, this interface 0 is now it's called inside interface, security level is 100. Ethernet 1 is now is called outside, security level is 0. Ethernet 2 DMZ, security level is 50. Clear on my point, everyone? Awesome. Yes, sir. Now? Okay, now, now see here what we have seen. So in case, in case if I have a DMZ, DMZ network, security level 50, inside security level 100, outside security level 0. Now, now, if I have another interface, this is called DMZ1. This is called DMZ2, for example. And onto this interface, I, I have a same security level. So I told you, same security level member, same security level interface cannot communicate with each other by default if you want i can i can show you how to communicate you need a single command but yes they cannot communicate with each other because say traffic is traveling via higher to lower 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 but same security level they cannot communicate now Let's configure IP address onto this inside router because I want to access this Cisco ASA firewall box through Telnet through SSH. Okay, so let's configure IP address. Wait. For firewall box, one is router. one mod is router, right? Other what is the other mode? Transparent, Transparent mode, Mr. Transparent. Okay. Transparent mode.
onto this inside interface, I have a IP address first. It, I'm configuring IP address 200, 200, 200, 10. Mask, no shutdown. Show IP interface brief. Ping 200, 200, 200. .1. I'm trying to ping uh, firewall interface from this router. So I'm trying to ping. I directly connected interface, you can see. I'm getting reply, everyone, right? Rohan, Mustafa, Praveen, Sachin. It's a basic yes, connectivity. It's a direct connectivity. So yes, I can pick. So to the firewall box, my point is what? To the firewall box. It's not through the firewall box. Right now it's a to the firewall box, not through the firewall box. So to the firewall box, ISMP traffic is allowed by default. See, I can pick. To the firewall box, ISMP traffic is allowed onto this interface. But in case if I'm trying to access Telnet, 200, 200, 200 dot. So telnet is not enabled. Telnet is not enabled. What you can do on your firewall box, you can go on your firewall box. You can use a command it's called telnet. And now you can type question mark. You can define here your specific host information or subnet information. information. See IP address of the host and or network authorized to log into the system. So right now, as per my topology, I'm trying to configure only this specific machine. You can say trusted host, you can define here. Only this specific host, 200, 200, 210 can access. So for this single IP address, I'm using subnet mask slash 32. In case, in case, if, in case if you want to allow complete subnet, so 200, 200, 200 zero slash 24, 255, 255, 255.0, you can define. But right now, I want to allow this specific machine. So 200, 200, 210, slash 32. And this machine, this machine is participating in, or you can say it's a part of inside network, inside network, done. Now you can set password. Password is called CCIE123. Now let's try to access again. Telnet. Password is CCIE123. I can access Telnet. Clear now? Yes, sir. Ah, sir, sir uh, Cisco SMA, uh, uh, Telnet, hai, mm -hmm. by default, uh, Enable but password set okay. Cisco ASA uh, sorry, Cisco ASA can enable you have to define router can enable password set one and sir ping ping to enable sana by default. Yes, by default, by default, ping service is enabled on, on data interface by default. Okay, uh, but the ping to his arrow or firewall pe enabled. Nana, nee, like, nee, nee, uh, nee, nee. other vendors fail a gap for 48 up 48 pap. We have a batch me 48 me gaki on data interface on 14 only port number one pay services enable with the baki ports many with the have to enable services. Koi services enable with on Palo Alto on Palo.